Good day and welcome to puzzle number 60. What number can be represented by the question mark? The numbers in the puzzles are as follows. In the first row, we have 5, 7 and 9. In the second row, we have 10, 11 and 14. And in the final row, we have 16, 13 and the question mark. As usual, we need to know what number can be represented by the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the solution, keep watching. Welcome back to the solution of puzzle number 60. The numbers in the puzzles are 5, 7, 9 in the first row, 10, 11, 14 in the second row, and 16, 13 and a question mark in the final row. Have you solved this puzzle? If you have not, let's do this together. So to solve this puzzle can be quite complicated because you can either work in terms of rows or column because all the biggest number are found in the last column and also in the bottom col bottom row. So to do this, the actual answer is we are working in terms of column, okay? So we need to work in such a way that 5, 10, 16, 7, 11, 13, and 9, 14, and a question mark. So to do that, it's quite simple. If you can have a sharp eye, I'm going to bring it up a bit. Okay? So 5 plus 10 plus 16, the total is going to be 31. Okay, 5 plus 10 is 15, 15 plus 16 is 31. So is 7 plus 11 plus 13. 7 plus 13 is 20. 20 plus 11 is 31. So the last question mark, has the total has to be added up to 31. So 9 plus 14 is 23. To get 31, the question mark has to be the number 8. So I believe most of you will get it right because you guys are geniuses and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more puzzles. Cheers.